<laughs> we did it. <laughs> okay, I immediately got distracted. But it's okay. Because now I'm gonna be typing. Streaming on. I can't type properly, clearly. Streaming on. Scott, hello Tolroth, hello driver, welcome to the party. Okay. And I've told the internet. And I've told the internet. And now let's go on Discord and tell the internet. Chat is working, yay! Well, no more dallying about, let's go... Let's go start. Okay, so to start off with, um, there appears to be some confusion among, over what a railgun shotgun is, because uh, that's what we're doing today. And uh, so we're going to be making more than one uh, interpretation of that, because apparently there is more than one. So let's just start. Uh, with a very very simple one let's just do something like do something very basic so people know what i'm talking about Railguns didn't spin by default because I actually kind of hate that. It clips something really annoying. Okay, let's go here with my steam engine. Either ejectors or all shells at once, I think. Well, yeah. My interpretation is that the thing kind of burps, so it's another way of describing a burp gun. Something with no firing limit set, so it just goes like burp, burp. And multi barreled, so it can kind of just, you know, so it can burp right. What was I doing? I oh, guess I was placing a crappy steam engine. Surely that will be okay. All right. So we got this now. We've got rails. We got. Take his north bank, that's okay, because we will just hit it that. And we're just going to make this sabo heads. So we know what we're talking about. Damn it. Alright, what do we got? We got 27 millimeters. And Alright, so we got this, and I'm going to set this to... Let's 
300 railgun draw, because that's funny. Alright, railgun is 300. So this thing has a lousy firing rate. Actually, not that bad. All right, so do, 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 do. let's swap this to the Omni Mantlet, and it should work. <laughs> okay, so that's something like uh, what I'm talking about. So it's like it's kind of just. Where is it? It kind of just goes black. And then there's kind of a reload and then bloop. And you can add more if you so choose. This is not the optimized version. Please don't copy what I'm doing. Alright, so it goes. Okay, October trying out RimWorld. I have tried RimWorld. I've done a one-off on, on it actually. It's not my kind of game. It's um, it's too complex and it's and I realize I just said that while playing it to D, but it's like it's the wrong kind of complex. I I'm not a fan of like I guess city management. Hmm. Oh, hello, hello, unemployed engine. Hey. A cast of fires, legal eagle. Hello, hello. How many does it shoot at once? Uh, I think this actually shoots six. So if I go here, yeah. So it does a. S yep, it's six round burst, which is fine. Problem is, is like, how do we do this? They're actually kind of hard. Okay, so there's our little functional prototype so we know what's happening. Um, it is actually weirdly... I know hybrid railguns are, you know, w w the actual sensible thing to do because you're taking advantage of built-in cooling. But I think pure railguns are kind of weirdly easy to build because you don't have to worry about coolers, you don't have to worry about... Basically, yeah, you don't have to worry about coolers and that's it. Uh... Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of micromanagement in games. Very compact railgun, blah, blah, blah. add more barrels, add more magnets. Alright, let's go here. So now this thing is 18 millimeters. <laughs> it goes brrr. <laughs> it goes brrr. Oh dear. Alrighty, uh. Oh, you said this name? More magnets, then hold more total down. Up to five. Well, yeah, the fire rate's already at maximum. Does this work for 500 millimeters? Well, not really, because um, uh, because it doesn't have multiple barrels. But hey, there's nothing stopping us from trying. All right, so let us just make a primitive turret so we can shoot at marauders because that's fun and hilarious. We are definitely just mucking about. We are mucking about. We are mucking about and making prototypes. And let's go here. And let us do this. And let us also do. Uh, whoops. And let us do. And no spin, please. And max accuracy. And then. I don't know, a barrel or two. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one of those. And we're just going to let's be very silly and just have pure hash because that's funny to me. Um, hmm. one, two, three, four, and whoops. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And I'm being very lazy, don't do this at home, folks. And edit, and we're just gonna go... Squash head, HE head, 500 millimeters, 
and that requires a lot of railgun draw, so let's get that up to... We're almost certainly going to need more of everything. Okay, rail use, 6.9, oh, hello, that's actually not bad. We just need a little bit more recoil, which we can do. We have the power. And I'm going to be a naughty, naughty boy and use a swastika prefab. <laughs> it's not that naughty, it's math. It's math! It's maths, I swear. Okay, we could add a little bit more loaders, actually. That'd be sweet. Uh, but yeah, this thing should burp. So it should go... Yep, so it does a burp. <laughs> it does a burp, and that's good. <laughs> uh, what, 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 what? Goofy... <laughs> Shotgun spread is pretty narrow IR IRL. So how many shells are in there? Blah, blah, blah. Okay. We can do some extension. So let us let this thing do a... How much is this? Let's let it do a 60. Firstly, let's do... Where's it, where's it, where's it, where's it? Let's do that, that's important. And let us know. Let us know. Thinks. Okay, what's that? That's 13. backwards because apparently I'm sensible like that. Oh boy. I hope no one who really likes railguns or is really good at railguns sees this because oh boy they're gonna be so mad. They're gonna be mad as heck. Actually I do want them to see this. Let them be mad. Okay, so what we have here is something like this. This looks very silly. All right, so it's 1,000 meters. This is the great thing about railguns is that you don't... You can have a stubby little barrel because there's no propellant to burn off. Add more barrels, more barrels. Friday, yay! Tracer rounds. Just one six-way connector. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? One six-way connector piece? Oh. <laughs> and use a longer recoil connector on the sides. Uh, no. <laughs> what? All right, so let's do some math here. This is eight meters, eight meters, eight meters. All right, let's try it your way. So if we're here, eight meters, eight, eight times three. Okay, for this setup, this might be more effective. That's 18. Eight plus eight. Eight plus eight plus seven plus two. All right, we've got one extra recoil absorber in there. I'll give that to you. That's still more than we actually need. <laughs> <laughs> Railgun jet. Really? 
This is like... Hmm. This is very rushed, like... Alright. Any but, let us now shoot a Marauder for giggles and see what happens. Yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, it shoots in three round bursts. By the looks of it. Nope, that's just one. What? Uh -huh. It's limited by the charge. Okay. Right, you know what that means. We need way more charge. We need way more capacity. This is interesting. I have not messed around with railguns in this fashion. Uh, we're gonna need a lot more stuff. Okay. Ah, crap. Okay. Oh, lordy. Alright. Oops. Right. Uh, we have 8,000... Also, the recoil is averaged, so I should probably think about that. Alright. Let's try that again. <laughs> More magnets for larger bursts? Exactly. Actually, yeah, the capacity has to be... What is that? Times 16. Quick math. Let's go here. What is that? That is around... Let's call that 13,000. 13,000 times 16. We need a capacity of 208,000. Alright. Ready for us to dump all the shells at once. Yikes. There we go. And we just need to put our barrels there. There we go. And let's see here. Rail uses, blah, blah, blah. Yes, we can do it. Hooray for calculator. Oh, yeah, it's gonna... Yeah. Yep. For another rail of magnet. Eh. Sure. <laughs> Are you useless bastard. <laughs> okay. That's so cool of you to uh, fire off into the air. This is why this kind of thing is not actually that practical. <laughs> because the AI will do that. Oh, dear. Oh dear me, and now it's going to be another 70 seconds before that loads again. Could be great for a bomber though. Because it just goes brrrr. Also that only knocked off 2% health. <laughs> what the hell man. What the heck. Okay. Oh dear. Also it's annoying it doesn't show the railgun charge. Oh dear. Firing, yeah, the firing delay isn't even a thing anymore. So yeah, it's like, yeah, you can only do it like synchronization and stuff. So that's so annoying. That's, um... Firing delay actually was a very useful tool, and it's, I'm not sure why the devs got rid of it. Yeah, the, uh, the, the minimum error is already set to as small as it can be, so I'll just show you, just show you quickly, so, okay, we should probably stick this up, but this is set to below 10 degree error, so, what's a good detection signature, let's, um, let's go with 100, because I really don't want this thing to miss. Alright, let's go here. APS shells fully reload. Thank you very please. 
And that's too low, because we literally cannot see it. Alright, so... Great. Alrighty, so let's drop that down to... 10. Maybe. Okay, then we... Isn't there still a firing to the way on the local weapon control? I mean, is there? Range bracket, engage vehicle... No? Nope. Nope, 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 and also nope. Unfortunately, nope. And... Interesting, alright. Uh, joy detection. Let's set that to one because we don't want it at zero. Hello. Interesting. The marauder is invisible. Well, that sucks. All right. Zero of these weapons can aim at the current target of the AM mainframe. Well then! Mm. Yeah, this is definitely a close range weapon. That is unfortunate. Well, you know what? I wanted to see this Marauder get minced. So... Let's go here. Let's aim. That is fun. But uh, the reload of this thing is... Terrible because it dumps all the shells all at once. It fires a 16 round burst. Wait a minute. Does it have shells? And it's got no shells loaded. Alright. So, yeah, okay, this is fun, but it's very silly. <laughs> Yeah, it's effect yeah, it's effectively a diff shotgun, but it has clubs. Okay. Alright, let us make something a little bit more sensible, I reckon. Alright, so now let's actually make a decent looking turret. And I'm gonna use me round turret because I like it. And let us remember how these things work. <sighs> this is turret building simulator. <laughs> Negative. Alright, I made one of these before. Let's go with two meter shells because that's fun and dandy. Go here, and we're gonna do three connection Tetris so that people aren't too angry at me. And we're not gonna bother with ejectors because we like to live dangerously. And the convenient thing about three connection Tetris is A, you can mirror mode it, and B, it leaves these nice little channels in the gun itself just to make fun things happen. Okay, so there we go. And now we can do this. We can see what we can do. And I really like this turret template because the internals is nice and square, which is what I like to see. And we can bother with gauge increases later. We want to use the cheap things. Doop, doop, doop. And also, doop. Then we can have some recoil absorption. We are almost certainly going to need a lot more of this, but it's okay. Do, 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 do. And one, two, three, four. What gauge do we feel like here? How about tall? Do 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 do. Eh. 
This is, I've uh, built a little prototype, something like this already, so this is mildly more sensible. Also, you can connect at interesting angles doing, doing this. So let's do this, and let's do an AI mantlet, because everyone likes an AI mantlet. Uh, what the heck was I doing? Let's do six barrels, because that's fun. Let's get to 100 millimeters, because that's also fun. Wait a minute, alright. So let's go here, access intakes. I do love this tool. Now, alright, so we're here. We've got two meter loaders, so let's get to nice round two meters. And that us and let's do a sabo head and let us get this to roughly one thousand meters per second. And that's nice. This might be silly. Alright, uh forty two blah blah blah. Here, 42 blah, 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 and we probably need to dial this way the hell back. Right, so why do we have no? Oh, yeah, we have no barrel, that's why. We have no barrel, we have none barrel. All right, oh, right, okay. Um, oh, yeah, we also need these. I don't play with rail guns enough, man. I really don't. Okay. Oh, thank you, unemployed engine. I learned from people better at the game than me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Coffin, na Coffin Nail Gun would make an awesome band name. Alright, so recoil is a lot. Rail use is a lot. We just need, we need a little bit more recoil absorption, but we have the power to do that thing. those and one of those and we have done it alrighty so let's do that that's actually enough right so if this is a shotgun therefore interesting Alright, so now we actually need a lot more capacity and a lot more... Interesting. Hang on. Alright, so if I do not repair the other thing. Alright, so chucks out about... How many water loaders do I have exactly? Is that all working? Yes, it is. Alright, this is actually kind of shotgunny, and I kind of like it. As also, it's kind of inaccurate. Alright, let's see. Let's see here. Let's go here. What does this want? This wants a 6 meter barrel. 4.3, let's do that. Yeah, that's a shotgun. That's what we like to see. That is what we like to see. Alright, let's just do a reload. I might just mount this on a canoe. I mean, you yeah. can't put that much energy per bullet. I mean, yeah, true. Mm -hmm. Let's shoot at an Atlas, but. Whoa, oh, nope, nope, no, 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 no. Let us do. This. Okay, just the fire rate. Blah, blah, blah. Wait a minute. Even the slide is below. Okay. So that missed horribly.
That also missed horribly. You know what? I should switch that to hollow point uh, for mean value. Okay, that's better. <laughs> I think I like this thing. Yeah, this is a shotgun. <laughs> I think we succeeded. It's even practical, almost. Look at that. Look at that, people. Whoa, down she goes. We're going duck hunting it, but it's the Atlas. Oh, boy. Alright, let's do that again, but let's change that shell out a little bit. Alright, so let's do hollow point. And I want enough sabo heads to do max damage to metal, wherever that is. You know what? That's close enough. What's the muzzle velocity? Is 908. Interesting. Alright. Aha! We might need more surge. Yeah, screw it. It's a shotgun. It's not meant to have fast shells. Traces should help with accuracy. Eh. Traces aren't working, aren't gonna work well with this. You need a constant rate of fire for traces to do very well. Um, last defense against, uh, like, seems like kamikaze craft? I don't see it. You do need. The best way to deal with kamikaze craft is a laser. Uh, even then they can let you down. Ask me how I know. Alright, let's do that. That is kind of fun, though. <laughs> Look at this buckshot. Oh boy. Also, I think one meter loaders are working much better with this. I kind of like this thing. It's it's stupid. This is not optimal, but yeah, it does. Yeah, it's, it's lacking. It's lacking something. You know what? Let's swap this out for frag. All right, let's do squash head. is a lot and this is kind of stupid now but basically we're using explosive shotgun shells and that makes perfect sense Whee! and wait for it 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 I mean that works a lot better because it's freaking hash and hash does very well might take out the other shells. APS shells cannot damage each other. Because can you imagine, like, how that would work? Sebo heat? Wait, nope. Is the damage greater than the shell health? Um... Probably? It's only... For those of you wondering... 
I think like um, crams can damage each other if they come from different teams and missiles can also damage each other but APS shells cannot damage each other. You cannot uh, destroy APS shells using other APS shells because that would be like really like stupid I guess. All right, so that's that's good. I like that. All right, so now let's let us save this as a placeholder because that's actually kind of fun. All right, now let us do the same thing, but with one barrel, and let us mess with this a little bit. Do Alright, so now let's dial this way the heck. Excuse you. Excuse you. This UI is not fantastic. Alright, so now we're here. Maybe, just maybe, baby, we can make the hollow point dream work. We cannot make the hollow point dream work. Alas, a lack a day. We can make the shotgun dream work though. Wow, we cannot make the shotgun dream work. Wait, no. There we go. Yep. Uh, Tolroff, thank you. I know. I'm seeing what stats the shell has by adjusting this. What was I doing? What was I doing? Alright, let's do... Is this... That's... <sighs> All right, that's 40. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. And did I copy this? Yes, I did. Now we go here and now we copy paste this. See, I know things. I've been doing it the whole time. All righty, ho then. We need more, more, I hey. We need more surge. We need more surge. We need more surge. Do, 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 do. Okay, and now we need far more recoil because when in doubt, make the numbers happy. Damn it, the numbers are not happy. How much? Oh my word! Abscott, I completely forgot about Graviton Rams. We must try this thing. We must try it. We must try it. Now I'm going to be very silly and do this. Well, use recoil, do that. And then it does that, and then it does this, and yes, that is enough. And does it do a good burp? Yes, it does! Gonna have our absolutely miserable firing rate, but that's okay. Alright, let us... First, I want to see what kind of holes it puts into the Atlas, because the Atlas is basically skeet shooting. Three million. I should turn that off so it doesn't don't waste everyone's time, including mine. What? <laughs> Just bounced off something. 
Okay, so the uh, the damage output of this is not great. I'm not a fan. I'm not a huge fan of these. Not really. Or at the very least, these things seem to work better at lower gauge, so that the shells work a little bit more quickly. Also, it is annoying how it kind of. Oh, excuse you. It is kind of annoying how it goes. Kind of goes brrr, and then there's just one random little shell. All right. So let us now. Uh, do the graviton ram thing because I keep forgetting that graviton rams exist. So let's go graviton ram and solid, solid, solid. Slightly reduces kinetic damage. All right, I it's okay. All right, we accept the terms and conditions of the graviton ram. Heavy. Oh yeah, heavy head. Oh hello, Pat. Many of the holding control. Yeah, sure. Yeah, let's let's do that. Or I can do this. Let's do this. Heavy head. It just occurred to me that you could use Raviton ramps to kind of punch uh, lightning hood stuff uh, onto land, which would be very handy. Or to keep ramming vehicles away from you, I guess. Anyway, uh, right. So that's off. So one elephant, two elephant, three elephant, and turn you on, and you missed horribly, how dare you. Uh, this is why it's better to have something with a continuous stream of fire, just so that doesn't happen, because that was a lot of materials I just wasted. Alrighty, come on, fire again, do your thing. That's not as dramatic as I thought. Huh. Well, that's disappointing. Can you edit the Graviton Ram thing? You can, as I recall. Alright, let's go there. Let's go here, here, here. Uh, you can't? Well, exert a force- Oh yeah, they really nerfed Graviton Rams. Um, alright. Oh. Push force is based on unmitigated recoil. Uh, yeah. Oh. It's based on unmitigated uh, recoil, so, like, it would be whatever the recoil is, assuming I didn't have recoil absorbers, so. Oh. That's sad. I was kind of hoping for the thing to, like, get knocked out of the air. Let's see how that does on a Marauder, uh, just for comparison's sake. Uh, pff, I don't think so. Um, that would be really stupid if it did. I mean, it kind of flings it around a little bit, I guess. Alright, let's try that. Just get rid of all the recoil absorbers. Wait, before I do that, I'm gonna save this because I don't want to have to put all those back. Dude. I think mainly it's just gonna be very, very inaccurate if I do this. Wait, where's that last one? Recoil. Uh, uh, uh. Hmm. Okay, worth a shot. Maybe we're good on hydrofoil. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. This is apparently a science stream, and we're sciencing things. Alright, let's do that. Yeah, no, there's really no difference. Um, a lot of the shells missed, so maybe individually they were doing better. But at the same time, if most of them miss, that's just a huge waste. Well, that's a shame. Uh, that is a shame. Yeah, that's very disappointing. Okay. That is disappointing.
Actually, there's very few uh, times when you'd actually want um, the thing to be pushed further away, because that just makes it harder to hit. Okay, let us try to make uh, somewhat more practical a shotgun in like... So from what I'm getting the impression here is... Well, exactly, Tolroth. It's like... We need to go small, so I'm going to make a thing that is 18 millimeters, and um, with any luck, we can make magic happen. All right. Uh, what was I doing? Let's do a three by three. Three by three. I don't have a three by three. I have a five by five. So that will. I will do a new thing. All right, there we go. Let's do one of these. And let's do one of these and one of these because hallelujah. And we're going to be nice and cheeky. We're going to, what are we going to do? Things. Stuff and things and fun. We're going to do... I remember how to brain. Okay, so it's like this and no clips because this thing is just gonna do a quick burp per fire and that's fine. Hmm. This is probably not going to be very practical at all. But you know what? You can't be practical all the time, except you should probably try. So please disregard everything I'm saying and doing. Alright, that gets us four, the other gets us three. So let's do this. Do 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 do. Hmm. All right, let's go here, edit, you know. And I am dead set on making hollow points useful one day, so. All right, let's go here, you know. What the? That whole thing had. Oh, wait, no. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I thought I messed up. Turning closer to the day. What was it? It would make them useful again. That would be kind of cool, actually. Hello, Ichwurzel. Alright. It has a uh, bow. Actually, no. Hold on. Yes, a bow body. And thump armor pierce is very little. This is why gunpowder is actually. Ah, uh, screw it. Oh, this is why gunpowder is so much better. Like, pure rail guns are actually kind of sucky for this very reason. Because gunpowder is just actually really good. Alright, let's see. Does this... It actually does. It actually does. It actually does. What the hell, man. There you go. <laughs> now we do full damage to metal. Oh boy, this thing is going to... Uh... Wait a minute. We can now put more railgun juice into it? What is this? What is this madness? Alright. Let's do that. That's surely... This is completely useless. <laughs> this is already completely useless. Alright. Oh, and I just remembered. This is not going to work because it is not going to work. And that will not work. Now we can do the swastika. And let us not do the spin. And let us do this, and a sign, and a sign, and the max rate of fire is actually kind of stupid. To do the Roy Rico was actually a little bit excessive. 
All right, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. We can get rid of this, actually. There we go. And if this thing goes brrr. Wait, did I? I didn't put a bloody mantlet in there. I didn't put a mantlet in. You didn't put the bloody mantlet in, you fool. So this is probably gonna do nothing. Add more loaders that could work, and let's just do this. Is <sighs> boy, all right. Why am why am I doing this? There, get a, there is, uh, unless you're being sarcastic, uh, Pat. There are um, where is it? It's railgun casings. Maximum. Oh yeah, all that does is increase the maximum rail energy that can be used to fight a shell. Okay, so yeah, yeah. But I don't think. I very rarely see anyone use railgun casings. They're not that helpful, really. To up the rail charge. Uh, okay. You're not dumb. You're not dumb. Anyway, I just I want to see uh, how this thing does it against the Atlas with skeet shooting. I mean, for such a tiny crappy gun, it is actually stripping things off. I mean, that's not really shotgun, is it? That's more of a pew 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 rather than a bang. Alright, let us... Uh, okay, so this isn't working. This is, this is not working particularly well. Let us try a different kind of shotgun. Let's try... Not the tank. Alright, so here we have a thing. Alright, so 57.1. We're just going to do that. So if we do that. Alright, and if we go here, edit, and then do. Frag head and frag warhead and we need a timed fuse and the timed fuse is gonna be something like that. And we can probably deal de that. We can do that and So this is something. Oh dear. Oh dearie 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 me. Alright, so let's go here, thank goodness. We'll set that to... 15. Refill all that. And what you have is a very short range thing. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, they, uh, yeah, five degrees is probably better, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So this is something else that's very silly. I mean, that is a shotgun, it's definitely one. So this is about... 100 meters, alright. This would actually work better with gunpowder. This would actually work better with gunpowder. Do I want to rebuild this entire thing and make a gunpowder version? Alright, see ya, Pat. Okay, uh, first I want to test this. Alright, so this is 100 meters. Which is pathetic range, by the way. But I mean, it's... Uh, it always annoys me in video games when shotguns don't have decent range. And let us have the Atlas. We'll make a gunpowder for- are you kidding me? 
Are you joshing me? Alright, let's set that to 200 meters. <laughs> let's set that to 200 meters and see if that does it. Oh dear. I mean, yeah, this is like not so much burst fire weapon so much as a funky shell. Oh my god. Yes! Oh wow. <laughs> that worked so much better than I thought it would. <laughs> we did it! We crippled the Atlas. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Right. Okay, we are going to rebuild as this whole thing. But using gunpowder instead. Alrighty. Alright. Wait, we're gonna need bugger all recoil for this. Just we're gonna need a lot of cooling. <laughs> yeah, I th yeah. Proximity fuses got removed uh, some time ago, which is like, I think it's just because they never bloody worked, and time fuses did everything they did better, which is unfortunate. Alright, so accuracy is not going to be a problem with this thing at all, so it isn't really going to need any recoil absorbers, is it? Ooh. One, two, three, four. And go with Lou. This would actually work kind of good, I think, on a. What do you call it? On a what do you call it? What kind of thing do we have here? I'm going to stick that timed fuse there. And uh, the time fuse is set to What really? How oh, get rid of the rail draw. Okay, we do use that and we've got meter clip I think I quite like this thing. <laughs> no reason you can't write railgun draw to a gun battle. This railgun draw would be completely useless um, in this particular instance, though, because, like, there's literally no point. This is not a kinetic shell. The shell itself isn't traveling very far. Like, yeah, so there's zero, 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 zero point. And let us see what the range on this thing is. Can we get it to 300? Let's see what happens. Because I do want it to shoot an atlas out of the sky, at the very least. Oh my... God. This is so funny. This is actually... This is... Yeah, this is basically a shotgun. And I was really not expecting this to work better. <laughs> Oh boy. Do frag pellets start with their shell? Well, I don't know. That's like... Maybe they do, I don't know. Oh yeah, this is immune to lambs, actually. It is hilarious to me that you can just kind of drop... That you can just drop an atlas like this. Alright, let's set the combat distance to 200. And don't intrude them too close. 
This would work great on a ramming craft, actually, because you can get a hell of a rate of fire with this, because it requires no cooling. Yeah, this is interesting. I really was not expecting this to work so much better. I mean, it works... Hey, it works on soft targets, which makes sense. Because it's a shotgun. Don't retreat when too close. You fool! <laughs> Guys, I think I like this. Oh, freaking hell, this is funny. Yeah, time also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it actually... Well, immediately this is more useful than I thought it would be. The problem is it is very short range. Uh, we should make a 500mm version. So let's go here. And let's go there. And let's do... One more of these. And let us modify this. Gauge. This needs to be a two meter thing. Where the hell am I looking? Clip length required is two meters, so let's go here and. Oh dear, timed fuse. No, we need one gunpowder casing, one timed fuse. Alright, so that's not great, but it's okay. Uh, timed fuse, just. Let's set that to one second just to. Just to kind of see. And that's actually a lot faster, so let's do that. To oh no, let's do that. And. Hmm, yeah, this is not gonna work as well. Unfortunately, but it's worth it, it's worth a try, it's worth a try. And 24 RPM, yeah, this ain't gonna work so well. This ain't gonna work so well. Wait a minute. Oh. Okay, 29.7. Awesome. Excuse you? All right, that's why. Time to fuse. Increases the range by a bit though. Let's set that to 400 meters and see what happens. Actually, yeah, no, let's do that. And shoot the Atlas because the, I love shooting the Atlas, man. <laughs> Only one railgun, uh, one drone, no gun, but maybe. Oh, yeah, true, that might work. This is the superior shotgun. Like, I realize this stream is called, like, railgun shotguns, but we just learned that railgun shotguns, or at least the way I interpret them, are kind of sucky compared to just this. Damn. How does this do against a flying squirrel or something that's supposed to fly over the top. Let's try it. Let's try this. Although the duster might be a bad choice. Oh my god. This is a skeet shooting fiend. Right, okay. 
Alrighty, come at me, Duster. Yeah, I think so we need something with a bit better rate of fire. So let's drop this down to... Uh, let's, yeah, let's drop it down a little bit. 293. Let's drop it by one more. 236, 84.9. 4.9. And yes, I know, that's not fitting exactly into the thing. Duck hunting season. I mean, burst fire railgun crow. But again, like, you know... The... Hmm. I mean, I guess I could... We'll try that in a second. I want to keep shooting dusters because I think it's hilarious and cool. Wow, really is duck hunting season. <laughs> Alright, let's see you do that again. Wait, what's the muzzle velocity? Where's it? Okay, it's not ideal. You do need way more damage per frag, so I am going to quickly do this. Sorry, I keep procrastinating the friggin' you-know-what. Alright, pimp things required slightly. Damn it! Alright. Let's do that. And time fuse. Gotta remember to set that time fuse properly. Okay, time fuse is set to... Was it one second we wanted? What, what did we want? What did we want in life? What did we want in life? Okay, so one second is way too long. We've established this already. Let's do that instead. Also, that's annoying. And fragment code angle five. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very please. There we go. Yeah, this is good actually. Yeah, with more I see with more water, but reducing the amount of gunpowder. You mean to get the cooling down? Oh, that might be a good idea. It does not need to be fast at all. Let's do that. So if we do that, how's the RPM? Why did the RPM drop? What the hell did I do? Hang on a minute. Oh. Oh, it's because the shell's longer now. A derpy der. All right, 41 RPM. We got too many coolers for whatever the hell this is. Hmm. Damn it. All right, well, we'll, we'll mess around with this one more time. Let's do... And now it is 41.9. Uh oh. If you set that too low, <laughs> if you set... more shell bars reduced, you get. Well, not reduce the gauge, but I know what you mean. Reduced my RPM. Damn it, my RPM is too low. RPM is too low. Yeah, if you shit if you set the uh if you set the what do you call it? If you set the um 
If you sh look at that. If the shell is too slow, it messes with the aiming. The game doesn't actually know what it's aiming with. All right, so let's destroy that. Let's load our placeholder again, and let us do that thing which people suggested, uh, which is basically just the same thing, but different. Okay, so I'm... Okay, what I'm gonna do is very naughty and no one should ever do it. It is called uh, Pure Autoloaders and I'm gonna go to hell for doing this. So if you don't want to go to hell, if you do not want to go to heck, you will not do this. Okay. One, two, three, four. Railgun Charger, just one. And actually, let's do what do we want? One, two, three, four. And one. And I want. Yeah, let's go with that. And we're gonna go. Let's edit. What do we got here? We need. Considerably, excuse you. There we go. So we need none of that. And we want time fuse, and we just want lots of frag. Frag head, frag warhead. Set that to fire, set that to minimal. We got this, and we got this, and we're gonna set that to 100 because why not? And we're gonna do this. We're gonna. Whoops, that's the wrong thing. Assign, assign. 47.3, and it should just go bleh and just upload all that all at once, which is groovy, baby. All right, so if we do that, what's 49 times 100 is like, all right, so we need much bigger capacity, which can you not spin, please? You're making me dizzy. There we go, all right, so that does that. You know, wait for the capacity to be full. Actually, I'm gonna be cheeky and do this. What a remedy, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Feels those velocity, yeah. Frags at this range, wait, what? Pure auto, no. Pure auto loaders do not make sense for belt feds because belt feds don't work without clubs. Needs a bit more recoil, it's like, well, no, recoil is not an issue for this thing. Alright, 94 meters per second is a little bit too slow. We want at least 100 meters per second. And we're doing 200 times 49. Excuse you. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that's silly. That is very silly. <laughs> RO yep, ROF fixed. ROF is fixed. <laughs> oh boy. Alrighty, alright. Uh, we need to set range limits on this thing. Let's set it to uh, three. Let's set it to two. Yeah, let's set it to 250. Oh my god, alright, we have we found the key, ladies and gentlemen, we found the key. Yeah, what, what is the in-game frag cap? Because I think that is something we're gonna have to worry about. Okay, let's spawn in our friend the Atlas. Why did I set that to 200 meters? I know that's dumb. You know, you know what? I think um, that's. D 
Deacon's hell. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, okay then. Alright, um... Mission successful? <laughs> Of course, this thing takes a bloody age and a half to reload. Is this a sustained rate of fire? It's something silly. Wait, no, hold on. Yeah, 10 seconds, that's very useful. Okay, wait for it, wait. Yeah, this is definitely a bomber type thing. Okay, whoa. Yeah. Oh lordy, okay. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, it's like, all right, so let us do a fun experiment to do with anti-ramming. What's a ramming vehicle? What is a ramming vehicle that is very annoying, so? 47.3, eh. We could add more order loaders. In fact, we can and we should watch this. What do you mean not connected? Oh, that's why. How are you not connected? You should be connected just fine. You're not connected at all, are ya? No. That sucks. Alright, well, it was an idea. Could just make it taller. I should probably just make it taller. Okay, let, uh, wee 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 wee. What's a ramming thing? Yes, we vertical. Uh, does the auto. Well, this is a two-meter shell, and it's a two-meter shell just so I can stick more frags in it. That's the idea. You need lots of frags, because uh, we got that magic 1,800 damage per fragment thing. Alright, so let's go there. And you know what we can do? Um, behavior, point at danger, combat altitude... Altitude relative to target is zero, so... What I want to do now is take on something like this. Wait a minute, no, the rook's too fast for us, I think. Nope, Rook's too fast. <laughs> Damn it. Alrighty. Oh dear. Okay, uh, let's try... What was it? Alright. I think, yeah, it's the Basilica. You shoot me, how dare you. This fella is gonna be flying very hot. That's gonna take too long. What am I doing? What am I doing? This is silly. All right. Whoops. Okay. New bus was not that scary? Don't think, but hold on, cooler. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The deep water god does have that. All right. So. Disregard that thing I did from a distance. Okay, please hold her. And let's just have what's it? What's it? It's Jacob's score. There we go. Come at me, bro. Okay, that's a little early. We fired a little bit early. Whoopsies. Jacob's scorn is quite fun. 
But you know what else is fun? Is shotguns. Railgun shotguns. Uh, this is gonna take too long, so I'm just gonna... Whee! Alright, I want to mess around with the RPM of this thing. Just so we can get interesting results. So let's do that again. We think people is that more or less fun oh yeah 600 rpm and it's like yeah, it's a good point actually I was kind of expecting that all right let's just for giggles let's for giggles set this to all right, set that to that and let's set this to the actual true fire rate that this thing has uh, which, what was it? It's something silly. It was 47.3, which is probably going to be less impressive, let's be honest. But it will look more shotgun-ish. I mean, uh, that's definitely that. That feels shotgunny. I'm going to shoot this crane off. Oh, can't aim in that direction. Right. You know what we should do then? This. Whoops. Oops. Oh no. Oh no. I've ruined everything. <laughs> oh wow, no, I just turned it invisible. That was weird. That was so weird! 1.2 shakes but forever. The burst is probably more useful, you're right. Alright, let's uh, let's get silly and let's um, set it to 10 times what it is. And see what it is. Because if you fire all those shells too soon, was it? Uh, then there's a bit of wasted damage because they're more likely to miss. Actually, what... Does anyone know what the velocity of those fragments are? And yeah, I am going to do another layer of this thing. Okay, I think I like that. <laughs> I think I like that a lot. Alrighty, uh, let's do this evil thing right here. And just do this. Height is that. And now it's. No, let's just prefab this whole thing. Let's do this new. Really, it's nice that you can just ignore recoil for this because it doesn't matter. 
All right, let's add another ramming thing in here. Add like ten more. All right, okay, what's another thing? White flares have the bazaar, which is very nice. Oh, wow, this thing has been done over. Wow, this thing looks cool. And here we have the problem with fragments is that uh, there's not super good against armored targets. <laughs> also, this thing is apparently stuck. All right, who is it who said that this is new? Yeah. Yeah, oh, this is not good against metal. I mean, you could swap it to, like, a short-ranged, like, hash gun, and it should work kind of the same. But, yeah, maybe not. Come back here, Buzzle. All right, let's try... What happens if we put three of them down? Whoopsie. Let's go here... And buzzle, come get me. Okay, that seems buggy. <laughs> that seems more than a little buggy. <laughs> oh boy. Let's have a look at the. Whoa, okay. Let's have a look at this thing, because I do think this looks... Oh my goodness. Alright, what's another ramming thing? I just want to shoot things now. Alright, guillotine... The guillotine is a thing, right? Yeah. No, wait, no, that's not a ramming craft. It's not a ramming craft at all. What have I done? Huh. <laughs> just, this thing is hilarious. But yeah. Okay, no, not you. How does this do again? What's another thing? Actually, yeah, let's try this against an ICBM. Since somebody mentioned that. Somebody mentioned that at some point. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's like, against wood, this thing would be terrifying. Alright, let's go, great talons, ICBM. ICBMs might be too fast for this, the gun won't track them very well. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dearie me. Yep, nope, we're not, this ain't working. Why, the guns aren't even aiming at it. Also, that uh, that ice even looks new. Also, it's not exploding. I mean, there it exploded. All right, so against uh, ICBMs, uh, we got a problem here. Mm, can we try it with hash? We absolutely can and should try it with hash. Let us do that. All right, so we are gonna need probably a little bit. Uh, It goes here, and this probably needs a little bit more railgun juice. And we probably need more capacity, and we probably need more railgun stuff. I think I quite like this kind of gun. It's very silly. Okay, let's do here and refill that. And what does that look like? It looks hilarious is what it's like. Okay, and we can probably up the range of that to about 500 meters. 
this, and let us test that against the Atlas first, because that is funny to me. I mean, yeah, that definitely works. That definitely works. Yay. Oh, yeah, this thing is going to need a lot more charges. All right, we've figured out uh, the premise behind the railgun shotgun is... Uh, yeah, okay. It, it took a second. I was failing to grasp the principle of it. All right, let's try against... Jacob's... What was it? Jacob's Scorn. You know, this is kind of fun, and I understand people have probably been making guns like this since forever in From the Depths, but I always come to this rather late. And you know what else? We're, all right, where's a where's it? Where's a, spawn in the bustle. Do it. Oh, hello, you poor bastard. You appear to be immobilized. Oh, dear. Low materials. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Max fire rate for the lulls. You are absolutely correct. Let's do that. We... <laughs> I don't think the chargers can keep up with that. Let's just save it like so. And do we have... Nope, we don't. Alright, we don't APS shells. Spawn in the buzzsaw. I'm going to drop the range a little bit because uh, I don't want this to miss. I do not want this to be a miss piggy. I want this to be a hit piggy. We cut its head off. Somebody call a wambulance! <laughs> Zero rebuild. Helping to improve ships? Um, you mean apart from all the tutorials I've made? Like, you're gonna have to be way more specific because of, like, there's so many things to do better in From the Depths. Like, just general purpose improve ships. That's like, I have nothing to go on there. Like, hands on help. No. No, I've done that before. Uh, as much as I did enjoy doing it, um, it was just kind of like, it was just kind of too much because, like, there's too many of you and there's only one of me. So sorry, I don't do hands on help anymore. Old workshop review thing was like, well, not that's not workshop review. That's subscriber craft review, which is which was uh, very different. Um, the workshop review is like, I don't really so much as uh, give advice on improving ships, so much as I find uh, interesting stuff on the Steam Workshop and sometimes on Discord and like show it off, uh, perhaps to give you ideas. But yeah, I don't go overcraft in detail anymore because it's just it's a lot of work <laughs> and honest and like this is going to sound mean but not a lot of payoff because it just means that everyone wants me to look at their stuff so yeah i'm sorry about that <laughs> yeah can this hit a flying score oh yeah and it's true like the front of the depths discord is like you got to keep in mind it's like it's a big discord and the most active people there may or may not be helpful. Um, you might get lucky. There are some lovely people who hang out in there and who will gladly help you with anything. Then there are people who will not help you at all. And there are, and then there are the people who will say they'll help you, but really they just want to talk down to someone and like, you know, feel superior in their knowledge of the game. And you get them in every video gaming community, which is unfortunate but that's how it is 
Uh, this thing probably cannot hit a flying squirrel because the flying squirrel is silly like that. Yeah, the flying squirrel doesn't even get close <laughs> enough for this thing to possibly. But you know what? We can do this. And it's not even bothering. Blap, 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 blap. <laughs> nope, nope. Insufficient muzzle velocity. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I actually like probably one of the best things you can do to improve your ships is just look at other people's craft a lot. Look at them yourself. Like, look, go on the Steam Workshop, see what's highly rated, and even like, I learned a lot of useful things just by. Uh, reverse engineering stuff in the Nitro campaign. Um, like the faction craft and stuff. Uh, bearing in mind that there's like strict rules um, for campaign craft and like they're sometimes deliberately... Oh my goodness, we almost hit it. They're sometimes deliberately unoptimized in order to keep the theme or to keep with um, within like the rules so to speak. But yeah, it's just the workshop is full of stuff that you can reverse engineer and it's quite clever. Yeah. Uh, which capital ship are we talking about? Oh, you're welcome. Uh, how do you pronounce that? Chocowar? Also, did chat... Did the chat box, box vanish? Nope. Oh, the Titan Slung. Yeah, the Titan Slung is... I have a love-hate relationship with the Titan Slung because it is... It did accomplish what I set out to do. It can beat the BBS 5th season which has the strongest railguns I've ever seen on anything, but, uh, and strongest, most practical railguns, I should say. And, um, uh, but it's got a lot of problems. Oh my god, we hit it! <laughs> we probably burned, like, ten, uh, flying squirrels worth of material, but it was worth it. It was totally worth it. Alrighty. Just for giggles, I want to do... Do I want to do what you're going to do with the little canoe with the moon shining all around? He applied the paddle sound. You couldn't even hear a sound. 95.9. 85.9. Thank you. What is the max range of these shells? Uh, let's go here. I need to probably actually see what the railgun draw is. 300. 300 Spartans. Okay. And the range is very long. So I'm going to set it to 4,000 meters. And then we just get to watch this thing go like bang, 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 bang. Flying through. Alrighty, hold in. One meter for accurate range, though. It's not very. Oh no, this thing can't get crap at that range. Also, I want to. Are we actually gonna hit it? Oh my goodness, we almost did. <laughs> okay, so I want to just demonstrate to people before people think that this is overpowered. Um, actually, I'm gonna turn this off. Alright, so we've got something with a halfway decent lambs, like so, and I'm going to do this. And so the problem with something that does something like this is that the way it's set up right now is uh, lambs are just going to... Actually, no, they're not. <laughs> Never mind, I'm full of nonsense. A decent lambs would tear straight through that. Let's... What's something with a decent continuous lambs? I think the Titan has one. Where is... Wait, no. Not the Titan. What's it called? Lamb Disgust. What is the form... Who is the dude formerly known as Titan? Oh, fear. 
Oh no, not you. All right. Oh, hello. You are very much. Yeah. So. Are okay then. You don't even have a lambs at all. What the heck? Can we just appreciate that the twin god looks awesome? There's little antennas and stuff on here. Uh, they're still very annoying though, because they still have the freaking you know what the the the, the who's a what. Well then, I have no choice but to give this thing a sensible rate of fire. Oops. Wow, my computer is being loud. Please don't overheat and die. I'll get you a better cooler eventually, I promise. Oh dear. <laughs> Are we gonna hit anything? We actually are. Holy smokes. Wow, I used to remember when the Titan had one of the best lambs in the game. I guess that's not the case anymore. Oh boy, what is it? Oh, nice! Okay, cool. What's the gate? You can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the size of your turret? What? Yep. Oh yeah, they're cra the Meg does have very good lambs. Actually, yeah, let's see if a max burst uh, from one of this um, can get through a Meg's lambs. Actually, before we do that, I just want to quickly... Nope, that's wrong. Nah, damn it, never mind. I was worried that my uh, fancy new CPU with a Arguably inadequate cooler was about to explode on me, but I guess not. All right, frags on. I think they are. TGI wonder. All right, what was I doing? I was uh, doing the clever thing. That clever thing which I do. All right, let's do this. Let's do this, and let us spawn in the Meg first of all. Uh, yep. So Meg. From accounting, where are you? There you are. I should have held off until the Meg was actually facing broadside. And let's do... Why do I always click repair first? What is wrong with me? Uh, Meg clicked on, and you go broadside, sir. Sir, can you please turn broadside so we can test your lambs? Yeah, the the Megalodon doesn't have front nodes, which is interesting. It means you can um, you can murder it from the front. Let's see, can the thing do it? What? I mean, that did basically nothing. So I think the Meg just tanked it. All right. So, what was the what was the twin guard thing people were talking about? Twin guard thing. It says TG Wonder. All right. Gotcha. 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 Let's have. Where is the TG Wonder? Which looks very nice. It looks very nice indeed. Alright, so this thing you say has a massive lamp, but it certainly has a big lamp. What the hell am I looking at? I mean, it certainly is, uh... Certainly is going ham on the... Alright, let's see here. Alright, still not quite. Wow, we... Oh, I love the little face. The little face is amazing. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay. 
Yay! Well done, Megansburg. That's it. Let's enjoy the wonder. Let us wonder at the wonder. Oh, I do like how the new Twin God uh, stuff looks. Even though, what's it? Th that repair tentacle span thing is still one of my least favorite things in the world. But you know what? You can't make everybody happy. Oh yeah, these are, these are what do we call it? Enclosed propellers. Also, this thing is somewhat canoe-shaped, and I approve of this. Alrighty, ho then. That's enough of that. Alright, I want to get back to... Let's see here... What was it? Not that. Um, what was it? I just want to muck around with shotguns now. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Do I remember what... Okay, no. Getting confused? Oh no. Oh no. Alright, so. Alright, I want to get back to the good old days of the shotgun thingy because I think I like that. I like that a lot because it looks like shotgun. Uh, frag head and frag warhead. Time fuse, time fuse, time fuse, time fuse. And now I want to see what kind of planes we can shoot down with us. Let's do this just so the aim is uh, a little better. There we go. Airbus round timing offset. Bleh. I mean, it, it's amazing, but also not amazing. A uh, small angle frag. Because it actually doesn't do as much damage. For this, it has to work, because otherwise the frags always miss. Uh, let's go mess about with planes. So if I do a Gannet Squadron over there, and if they come and get me, and are you gonna be a blinking silly billy? What the hell, man? Oh, they might have been out of range. They might have been out of range, so which means... Uh, crud. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, they've, they've hit each other. Alright, so Gannet, nope. Uh, let's just go planes. So, oh, Falcon. Will this work? These guys might fly too high as well. Basically, I want planes to be stupid and, like, fly right over me. Without fire rate to aim at enemies? You think? Okay. I want to see if this works first. What the... When did the Falcon get a gun? Ah, blow me down, it's got a gun. I've also got a gun. Come close to my gun. What the hell, you didn't get close to my- Hey, that's cheating! Cheater! Alright, let's do that thing which people suggested. Let's do... And max fire right. Alright, let's do that, and let's see if that works. Uh, Gannet, Lynx, are you gonna be stupid and die- Ah, hello! Hello, hello, that's very clever, thank you. They're what hybrid, sorry? Okay, that did not work. RBB AI, what? Priority settings. Oh, priority settings, that's important, okay. Uh, priority is that. Come on! Fly past me again, I dare you! I dare you! Come on, duck! Mac, mac! Mac, mac! Mac, 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 mac! 
No! <laughs> Bollocks! <laughs> Alright, let's set that to 300 meters. Let's try it again. Link, snow sharp, peregrine. What the hell's a peregrine? Is the peregrine new? Peregrine might be new. Look at you being all cool. And you fly too high. You fly too high, how dare you? Alright, well, gotta do the Link Squadron again. Now it might work again, see what. You got a point. Let's try the ICBM again after this. No, you missed! Oh. Well, no, they collided. Okay, they collided with each other. Bollocks. Okay, spawn in the nuke. Spawn in the nuke. We need nukes. We need nukes. I see the M. Thank you. There we go. We. That does not seem to have helped us very much. Hmm. We have been exploded. Everest round. What do you even mean by that? Well, I mean, to be fair uh, to, like, the ICBMs, like, literally a way to counter them is just to send something big and cheap made of wood against them, and then they commit suicide uh, against it. And, um... Yeah, also, like, if you've got a decent laser, these things are really not a threat at all. So, they're a problem if you're like me, and you forget lasers exist. Oh, yeah, you might need the air mantlet. Uh... Oh, yes, the air mantlet. Uh, let's try this again. Uh, I see the M. going to be fling 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 well then nope and now we can't even aim at it at all why does this thing not do a suicide well then you know what that technically is a successful uh, defense against a nuclear weapon because uh it didn't kill us <laughs> and it has sunk so yeah it's weird these things are simultaneously very scary but also like not scary at all because they do stuff like this uh oh breadboard right bb thank you man i didn't know that yeah it's very erratic you kind of need to yeah you need a laser you really do need a laser for these things are you gonna explode or what? The stream needs to end! We need to end this on a bang! Bang! Also, I'm just gonna do this. No! <laughs> Damn it. Hold on. There we go. Screenshot! Screenshot! And also... Screenshot! For propaganda and thumbnail purposes. Alrighty, that will do for this, uh, for this stream. This was fun! We learned stuff. Or at least I learned stuff. Hopefully you learned stuff as well. Oh boy. Yeah, oh yeah, it's like if you, if you like gunpowder, anti-air, Friggin' ICBMs, man. You're just trying to do your World War II thing and then people come in with nukes? It's so rude. Also, it is... Oh, boy. Alrighty, well, thank you all so much. Yeah, that flat check definitely needs to do a bomber like that. So, anyway... Thank you all so much for watching and joining me on this stream. It was a good suggestion. We learn stuff. And uh, usual sales pitch is like subscribe and follow on YouTube, subscribe and follow on Twitch, 
And I have written a book, it is a fantasy novel called Two of Rogues. It is on basically all the e-stores, so go give that a read, it's jolly good. And I will see you next week. Bye! Gravitas. I will look at the Gravitas and see how scary it is. Thank you! Bye, 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 bye.